So here is an example of one of those classic cases where here's the scenario. This is a YF vehicle, the R1234 YF, and the refrigerant was dumped to the atmosphere because they needed it done quick for one, and this is an insurance job, and this is one of the uneducated owners of an insurance who can't work on the vehicles themselves, and they have no, they don't know the rules, laws, and regulations of California law when dealing as a contractor, subcontractor, vendor, that an insurance company cannot tell you you cannot do a procedure they won't pay you for it if it's required by either the EPA or some other federally granted agent uh, like this. The recovery is, oh, the insurance company won't pay me for doing the recovery that much. And uh, so we have to vent it out to the air uh, because you give me a bill and they tell me they won't pay that much. So they vent it out to the atmosphere. Now this happens every day all around California and, every, and probably every other 50 other states because the insurance company agent tells the insurance company to cut costs down. We won't pay you for that procedure. Therefore, it doesn't get done. So this perfectly good condenser was removed to do the work behind it and replace everything and put back, but they dumped the refrigerant to the atmosphere because the insurance company told them uh, they won't pay that much for it. So that's what happened there. And so I'm putting refrigerant in and EPA, if you're hearing this message, there's 100,000 shops that need to be busted. No, actually, it's not the shops that need to be busted. You go to the root of the crop, the cause. The biggest turd is uphill and shit rolls downhill. So you go to the insurance companies because when, especially when they're direct with a shop, that insurance company's representative in the shop and they're taking orders from the insurance company telling them to cut procedures out and cost therefore not performing procedures that should be performed on a car and hey the shops have to survive so they'll do what they do when they're told they won't get paid something something's not going to get changed something's not going to get adjusted something's not going to get removed something's not going to get put on if the insurance company needles and pins them for every nickel and dime bad things happen to customers cars and the insurance company oh but we're trying to save people on their premiums and save money but what happens is a lot of bad things and this is one of those scenarios dumping refrigerant this has always happened in the last my almost 30 years uh, when an insurance company tells a little shop who's uneducated and they don't know california business law uh, they just roll over and take it into you know what and go on with business as usual because they, whoever taught them taught them this is what you do and they just follow along with the same because they're uneducated get an education all right see you guys bye what a waste our one two three four vented to the atmosphere because of pinching pennies. All right.